Hey, I'm Shane. And I'm Lex from Admin Arsenal. Shane, mm -hmm. let's build a custom collection. All right. Obviously, we have the collection library where we track. We, we have a lot of collections that we track the, you know, versions of the most popular software for you. Well, let's say, you know, but everybody we, uses different antivirus. Let's mm -hmm. go and, you know, we happen to have malware bytes loaded here. So let's build a collection to see who yeah. has malware bytes and who doesn't. It's not in the, in the collection library. It's a great example. Yeah. So uh, let's create a new collection, first of all. Uh, when you're creating a new collection, especially for, like for software, it's great to look at a computer that you know has this software so that you can kind of see how it's reported. Uh, so we're going to go to Rancid because you said Rancid has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that is a computer, not a person. Although <laughs> Rancid, people, yeah, okay, we'll let that go. So we can see there's Malwarebytes <laughs> Managed Client. So that's what you want to look for, right? Mm -hmm. Notice the version. It's 1.5.0.271. Perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick copy of that. Um, Excellent. And we'll come back for the, for the version. So we're going to create a collection, new dynamic. Mm -hmm. And why do we call it a dynamic collection? Because the dynamic collect, uh, static collection, you actually say, I want this computer or this computer in that collection. Here, we're saying computers are in this collection that meet certain criteria. Excellent. So we're going to say malware bytes managed client, right? Mm -hmm. Manged. That works too. Control V, Shane. Control V. Copy and paste is our friend. Yeah. We have, we have uh, our filters here. Now we're going to do a couple basic ones. Uh, we're going to keep that all. Mm -hmm. uh, here's our, our very simple uh, value filter. Instead of looking in the computer table, we're going to look in the application. Mm -hmm. The application name, we have a bunch of different comparisons. In this case, we're just going to do equals. Because we know exactly what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. We're going to look for malware bytes, apostrophe, managed client. These are the machines that we'll have that. Perfect. So we have 21 computers that have uh, software that has that name. Now, um, are we done? No, no. Let's, uh, I want to know the machines that don't have it so I know what I need to install it on. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead. You can actually duplicate if you want since we've already got part of that. Well, how do we negate this? Well, we're going to do this. We're going to come into application. And now we want to look for uh, machines. Pardon me. You want the machines that don't have it. Don't. I'm going yeah. to delete this filter. So we have names, machines that equal that have a, uh, an application called this. We're going to change this all. This is how you'll negate it. This is how you find us uh, machines that don't have certain software. We're going to say <coughs> not any. Now, if you change that equals there to does not equal, that means any software that has a name that does not equal that will mm -hmm. show up. So make sure you do it right here. Yep, that's a bit. That's a big gotcha right mm -hmm. there. Oh yeah. So these are the machines that don't have uh, malware bytes. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is just I'm going to drag this right up to that top one, and we're going to rename this to malware bytes. Missing. Sound sound good? These don't have malware bytes. Sounds good to me. Perfect. Hey, let's take it a step further. Can I get uh, machines that have old versions of malware bytes? Mm -hmm. So does Rancid have the latest version? It does. All right, so we're going to go to Rancid, use that as a cheat sheet. Mm -hmm. There's the uh, latest version as of this recording anyway. We're going to copy that. It's 1.5, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada? Mm -hmm. OK. Now we're going to duplicate. How do, you, how do you filter on yada, yada? Uh, <laughs> you going to show me? We're going to duplicate that missing one. Um, change that back to all. Mm -hmm. We're going to create a new value filter, but it's got to be under this, pardon me, that's a group. A, gr a new value filter underneath all. Mm -hmm. We're going to say application. So we're already looking for name, mm -hmm. so it's going to find computers that have that, and then we're going to say version. So it's got to have a name and a version to whatever we use here. Now the comparison, don't use equals. Generally, when it comes to versions, you want to use the version, version. comparisons. Mm -hmm. Because equals will look for a string. Any of the version comparisons that you see here, those will look for numbers mm -hmm. and we'll be able to evaluate it properly. So we're saying version equals. Well, don't want to do version less than because we already know it's got it. That's a good point. So we're going to say, so this would be a, a one that showed the people that have the current version. The current version. But well, yeah, we'll say version uh, is lower than. This. You and you could also use uh, variables. It's a different video, um, so you don't have to keep on changing, that, changing yeah. that value every time a new version comes out. You just have to change it once. Mm -hmm. So we're, this will computer has to have managed uh, mal, the malware bytes managed client, but its version is lower than this. One there computer. And let's, on. let's change the name of that. I'm going to open that up real quick and just say malware bytes, old. Um, yeah, old version or something like that. So. Yeah. I see you Perfect. Learned how to spell it the same mm. school I did. Never gets old. So now we, we know these machines. This is a machine that, oh, got to get Gene up, you mm -hmm. know? Just, let's just go ahead and verify. A Gene, sure enough, 1.4 instead of 1.5. Yep. All right? And uh, 
once again, so if you want to just take this the same um, kind of the same road, we're going to duplicate the old version, and we'll just call this maybe current. It's if you want to, the current version. Yeah. These are the machines that are that have the current version, and instead of version lower than, we're going to do version equals. Perfect. And so there Gene should not be in here. Sure enough, there's there's no Gene there, and that's how that's how you can do that. Once again, just some basic filters for. PDQ inventory. Yep, collections. Yep. Gotta love it. We'll talk to you later. I'm Shane. I'm Lex.